We're not gonna lie. It's absolutely heartbreaking to see the way the year ended for the Honey Badger, whose McLaren contract ended a year earlier than expected. On top of that, with hardly any competitive options left, he had to go down the road of a reserve driver role or opt for a sabbatical. And we all know what he did. In this video, we're gonna talk about Daniel Ricciardo's emotional farewell from McLaren. First off, the last race was too overwhelming for Ricciardo. Have you seen the latest video yet? We're talking about the one where Ricardo was simply overcome with emotion right in the middle of his final radio message as a McLaren driver. If we're being honest, that's definitely an emotional time for him, especially considering the fact that it might have been his last race in Formula One. If we're being honest, we hate to imagine the possibility of him leaving the F1 grid, but we can't deny the reality, right? Well, neither can he. And that's exactly why he was so overwhelmed after the last race at Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. But let's not forget that he left the team on a high right after he pulled off some overtakes and finished ninth, while his teammate Lando Norris finished sixth. Yep, he's still a few steps ahead of the Australian. With that said, Ricardo celebrated with a burnout on the Yas Marina circuit after his race engineer told the 33-year-old that it had been an honor to work together. Adding to that, the emotion was at an all-time high when the Australian parked his MCL 36M and parked Firma and prepared to exit the car for one last time. Honestly, we could literally hear his voice break up as he delivered his final message. All right, guys, thank you. I think you know how much I appreciate your efforts over the last two years. So thank you. Following up, he's focused on his strategy for 2023. Right before the race, he hugged his parents and the former world champion Sebastian Vettel, who, by the way, has been a huge support for the Australian over the past few months. And let's not forget his emotional goodbye to the two-time world champion Max Verstappen right after an emotional post-race sign-off on team radio, he definitely tried to stop himself from getting too emotional. It's definitely not a done deal yet. Maybe it is, but maybe it isn't. But we're hoping that we're going to see him in a lot more races in the upcoming seasons. Meanwhile, he didn't want to be overwhelmed with emotions after all the nostalgia that comes at a time like this. Instead, he's trying to set his focus on the right stuff. His career move for 2023 could end up being a game changer, so he needs to be very, very careful. Right now, all he's got to do is just absorb everything and keep himself focused on what's next. Up next, here's what his last race looked like. If we're talking about Max Verstappen, he won a record-extending 15th race to finally end his second straight world championship in style. Following him was Ferrari's Charles Leclerc at second, with Sergio Perez rounding up the podium. On top of that, Leclerc even finished second overall in the Drivers' Championship. And in the middle of all this, let's not forget that it was also the four-time world champion Vettel's last race, right before he headed into retirement. As for Mick Schumacher and Nicholas Latifi, we won't be seeing them on the F1 grid next year either. With that said, Ricardo and Vettel ended up tied for 11th in the Drivers' Championship on 37 points. And while we're at it, we'll have you know that not long ago, Red Bull team principal Christian Horner finally confirmed that Ricardo is going to rejoin his old team as the 2023 reserve driver. As for the Australian, he said that the move was pretty close to being locked in. Close or not, it seems like a done deal at this point, unless something absolutely crazy were to happen. Honestly, it just seems like he doesn't want to jinx it, because unless things are signed off and everything, he's not going to say anything. If anything, things are the closest to where they've been for quite a while, so that's good news. Not to mention, we're not going to see him in every Grand Prix next year. That's right, folks. He confirmed that he's not going to attend every single Grand Prix on the 24-race calendar next year. Instead, it seems like he's going to be taking a break from Formula One's rigorous schedule. Even if he shows up, it's not going to be at all 24 races. Let's be clear, he really wanted to get some time off, which is why he wanted to go on sabbatical. But if we're being honest, at a time like this, it simply was wasn't the best move. He still needed to be a part of a competitive team, even if it was as a reserve driver, because if not, he'd risk his comeback in 2024. After all, he hardly had any great options this year anyway. Isn't it a big possibility that after a year of being away from the F1 grid, he'll hardly have any options for 2024? So while he needed to save his career, he still needed some time off to refocus and rebuild. And that's exactly why he's going to try to stay involved while getting away a bit when 
whenever he can. Up next, not every race was great for the Australian. Take a look at a couple of his last races right before the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Imagine ending your McLaren career at that. In his words, it would have definitely left more of a sour taste in his mouth. But right by the end of his time with the team, he got to see the checkered flag and be in points as he held off Vettel the last 10 laps or so. Not only did that seem like a lot of fun for the F1 driver, but it also had him feeling a lot more fulfilled. And that's what's important when he says his goodbyes, right? It's all about ending on a good note. Having said that, as his last race for McLaren, he was pretty glad to finish in the top 10 instead of a DNF. In fact, he said, I'm relieved how it ended. What's more, the Honey Badger didn't forget his fans. That's right, folks. In fact, he went as far as writing a letter to his fans right before the final race with McLaren, which could very well be his last in Formula One. In the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, McLaren celebrated the 33-year-old's contribution over the past two seasons with Stetson-inspired hats with pictures of Ricardo saying, Yee-haw! Thanks, DR! And now the Australian has even written a letter to his fans. Want to read it? Take a look at the team's website because it expresses his gratitude after what seemed to have been a few difficult years. But before you go, here are some of our favorite bits from the emotional letter. One of the first was his trip down Nostalgia Lane when he first signed on the dotted line for the team and climbed into the car for the very first time. They were proud moments, to say the least, and he says he's always going to carry that with him forever. On top of that, he also thanked his fans because, beyond everything, he's a sports fan himself, so he understands pretty well how difficult it can feel to ride with someone through all these struggles and disappointments. Imagine coming in to support and cheer for someone when it isn't going well. Sort of ruins your Sunday, right? Well, he knows that. Finally, he's never going to forget his time at McLaren. In all honesty, it wouldn't be hard for him to just jump off the bandwagon, but he knows how supportive and unconditional his fans have been throughout the year. And with that, he made sure fans knew they shouldn't underestimate the impact of their support, because our honey badger never took it for granted. Adding to that, he also highlighted last year's Italian Grand Prix as his standout moment. Let's not forget it's the same race, where he claimed McLaren's first ever victory in a decade. Along with that, he's also talked about some of his connections at McLaren. And while the relationship didn't help him out a lot. He's still leaving on good terms with great memories. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. All in all, he summed it up as the perfect weekend, which pretty much seemed like a reward to balance out all those struggles. Having said that, one thing he pointed out was that once you've been racing for a team for that long, you're connected for life. And that's even after you switch teams, move on, and make new connections, or go wherever life takes you. You're never going to forget the team members you've worked with. And if we're being honest, he gave his everything over the last two years. And in his words, there's a part of McLaren that he'll always hold close to him forever. That's a wrap for this video. What's your take on Ricardo's emotional final radio message to McLaren? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.